Lock's up. That's Tyson. We're taking lock and load. We're getting ready for this workout. It's a really nice sunny day today actually, so I'm only donning the shorts and I've got my sleeves rolled up. Something to say about the workout two days ago, a bit too much water, interestingly is, I don't know if you hear this, but they say how much your biceps are just a, a beach muscle. You don't really need big biceps in a functional term. The workout I did two days ago and the, the first one that I did really smashed my biceps. And that afternoon when I went to do Olympic lifting, during the clean, when I was clean and jerking, I would get it up to here and I would get a massive cramp just in this section on both arms, which I thought was quite interesting. So I had to stretch it out after every single set and it eventually went away. <laughs> it eventually went away. It eventually went away after I stopped doing the exercise. <laughs> Lick it off the wrist. That, mate. Uh, Lick it. <laughs> so you may have heard me mention how I wasn't doing body weight pretty much more than once a week for about four months. So I think the main reason those cramps came in was because I've gone from not really requiring the use of my biceps so much to being really, really demanding on them. Body weight gets your biceps. We're taking the pre-workout now, finishing it off. It does taste like a bit of a less stronger version of 1MR. I mentioned that tastes like crushed vitamins once before. This has a similar kind of taste. Oh, let's lock and load. So we're going for Maltese holds today. We're still at level one. I'm really trying to accentuate form. I'm having a bit of trouble with balance right now just because of that big change and really trying to hollow it out. Look at that V taper. Flattery might get you a, a pre-workout. Two second hold, yeah? Yep. Zero. One. Two, straighten those elbows, man. They're still bending. Come on, straighten. Better. Zero. One, two. Better. We're gonna start straight. There we go. Good. Zero. One, two. Oh. So I don't know what form looks like. I think it was a bit. I really felt it in the biceps. Uh, I usually don't think I have a problem straightening my arms, so I'm thinking maybe the amount of effort I've put in my biceps at the moment is keeping them a bit, a bit tight, so it's just taking that bit more effort to straighten them out. What I'm going to be going for this time is more of that whole body connection, staying tight. I noticed my legs sagged a bit in the last one, which isn't necessarily ideal, obviously, because you need your whole body to be tight to maintain that position. I was thinking about it and wondering why I was doing that arched back flaccid shoulders technique before and I realized it's because of the allure of getting such a ridiculous skill to just be able to hit that position once regardless just feels great so that's why I ended up doing that form but I let it get the best of me and developed a bad form for it so it also feels good to step back now and really just hit that good technique wouldn't you agree, mate? Yeah, as soon as you can slightly do it, form is the most important. Zero. One. Two. Good. Zero. One. Two. Excellent form. Excellent form. Let's see one more again. Come on, man. You got it. Good. Zero. One. Two. Nice. Ah. Get your leg right. A little high. A little bit high. Come on, come on. Good. Nice. One or two of them, bit too much thrown out into L-sit and pulled back. 
I want to hit the L sit still. So I'm going to work on that next set. Alright, so I'm training for one arm chin and I'm doing an exercise on the rings that Connor Van Buren showed me. You can check out his channel just here. As you can see, I'm 5 feet 10 and a bit, not 5'11", and these rings are pretty damn high up. Now, I don't really have to worry about, you know, getting my legs in because of all the squats and, and clean snatches, all the exercises I do with Olympic lifting, but I notice a lot of you in comments mention about Lachlan's training. Leg day brew. Where's the leg day brew? And uh, Lachlan has a pretty impressive vert, so you can kind of gauge how high this is if I'm 5'10". Lachlan's 6'1", I'm pretty sure. So check out, check out his video here with his vert jump to these rings. Can you do that? Sweet. Solid. Come on, man, you got it. Excellent. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Come on, man. Yep, yep. Good, good negative. Come on. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Incredible pump on the buys. Alright, so Lachlan's day one video has just been put up, and I read the comments. Don't think I just keep that to my channel. And I noticed the suggestions on front lever. The one legged one was what I picked up on, which I'm going to try now. Me and Lachlan really want to encourage to you guys that this is a live series where we're open to suggestions throughout the whole series which will adapt into the workouts, if appropriate. No dick holes, I already did that and I... Maybe a suggestion could be cut the dick jokes out. <laughs> Zero, five, one, two, three, four. Whoa! Some of these things are such a head rush. Gonna do some dragon flags. Like I said, I really wanna train that whole body connection to the front lever. As a bonus, I'm going to hold the front lever position at the bottom. <sighs> I'm really feeling it in that abs. The front lever isn't necessarily a hollow body position. That's an extension. And the position I'm hitting in the dragon flag isn't necessarily hollow, it's, it's straight where almost my legs are coming around and my, it's my abs, abdominals job to keep them in check. So for the bench press and weights in general, there is a similar mindset from body weight to weights translating over, 
but I would say that with body weight where you might need to get settled and focused into your zone, for me, it could be different for other people, it's about attacking the weights, it's about as getting it's about getting as aggressive as you can and just smashing it out on there, not holding back. That's what really gets my sets through. And I think Lachlan found that helped as well, yeah? Yeah. So if you're having trouble really getting those weights when you know you can do it, just get angry at it. Get angry at this bar. Day four is over. What I find interesting is comparing it to how I felt in the last workout series during day three and four. That was halfway through in that workout series. At the moment where a bit, about a sixth, one sixth of the way through. It's interesting to compare because I was, I was in a bad mood. I was tired and it was just affecting those two workouts, I remember. But this time around... It was just a pleasure to train with last time, I remember. You know, I was trying to be positive and intense and upbeat. And he was just freaking... Well, they're just pegging the ring yeah. and shit. You'll see in the video and you can, you can see, like, my frustration. Okay. You can check it out here. I'm pretty sure... Without the anger. I'm pretty sure I was, uh, yeah, politely telling you to stop being in the... <laughs> So it's interesting to compare because at the moment I feel great. I'm really excited for the next workout and beyond. This workout went way too long. So I think maybe what we should do is aim for our next workout to be two hours. No excuses, yeah? So that's a challenge for next time. It has see, to be. Be five. see you for day five. How do you like that, Connor? Connie. Four thirty AM and I've got up to have the casein. To be honest, I'm happy it's over on Saturday. I'm pretty sure. While it's increased satiety every now and then for the most part. I don't I don't like Getting on and like interrupting my sleep. Oh my god. Holy shit. That is disgusting. I've been having two different kinds of casein this week. First one, which I've had majority of the time, is Musashi Muscle Defense Sustained Release Protein. The other one, the one I'm having to nong at, is Owen's Gold Standard 100% casein. I prefer 100% the Musashi. The casein by ON is makes this thick slurry of a protein which makes me want to gag as it goes down. I'm almost going to gag just thinking about it. That's my casein log. Not a fan of it, particularly breaking my sleep cycle just to do it. And I'm going back to bed. Good night.